Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're joining live then do say hi, let me know that you're watching. If you're joining on replay, catch up or on YouTube and you have any queries or questions don't hesitate to pop those in the comments box and I will respond and get back to you in due course. For those of you that joined my previous Facebook live we use this stamp set here every chapter and yesterday I showed you how to take the books and omit the words and this was our finished card this is the original design on the left hand side and I showed you how to do that and omit the words and then I wanted something to go on the top and the only thing I could find yesterday because I hadn't des decided what I was going to do um, was the tortoise and I think it was Kerry suggested and Catherine um, suggested subsequently um, a cat and of course I realized afterwards that I did have a cat so this pampered pets cat here would have looked fabulous on the top because we know um, how much cats love to lie on top of anything you're doing um, that one would have also worked um, so I should have stuck it out and, <laughs> and waited to find that one but I think the turtle one, um, tortoise one is quite cute and I think it would be great for a child's card. Morning Lynn, lovely to have you join us. So that was yesterday's little bit of fun. Today we are going to use a completely different and brand new to me stamp set called let's set sail so this is great for male themed cards um, and potentially retirement travel anything like that it is photopolymer and it does have a matching punch and the punch punches out the um, main sort of yacht and the two sails and in this stamp set we also have this lovely bit of um, sea or ground or sky and some birds, three nice sentiments and a little bit of shading here for the base of the boat as it's sitting in the water. So this is what I'm going to be using today. I haven't um, done anything with this um, stamp set as yet. I will be using this again tomorrow and introducing the punch. Okay, so I'm going for a slightly different layout today. <coughs> this is just one in my head, so I'm hoping it will work. I've got a white base card, a balmy blue layer that I'm going to stamp with the um, texture. And then I've got a small white panel and a misty moonlight panel that's going to go behind it. And it's not particularly um, any particular size, it's just the way that I've cut it. Um, it's approximately six and a half centimetres by nine and a half. Um, but I'm hoping my boat is going to fit on there. So let's start with the boat on here. So I have prepared the stamps on the blocks. There's three elements to the boat itself. Obviously these are photopolymer, so you can't really see them. So I'll stamp them on the side here. And I've got a selection of blues. So I'm going to use, I think, Knight of Navy. Morning, Jeanette. Morning, Zanna. Nice to have you join us. I hope everybody is well. So I'm just going to ink this one up. So this is Knight, Knight of Navy. Got a bit carried away there. So I'm just going to try um, this on the side here so I can see how it looks. 
and it does have a distinctive angle to it okay so when you're putting it on the block do let that rest okay rather than forcing it onto the block in a particular position um, and then let's do the two sails so we've got this one here on the left and I think I'm going to use maybe balmy blue for those So just trying this out so I can see what it looks like. Like that. There we go. Now it has got um, a sort of bro slightly broken up design. It's I think oh I've got ink on my finger thumb. It's difficult for you to see, but there's some little stripes and then there's a little bit of um, texture in there quite how I got so wet already inky already I don't know morning Catherine thanks for your suggestion Catherine I did find a cat <sighs> eventually after I'd finished the live I found this cat which would have been perfect on our stack of books yesterday but never mind okay and then I've got this one here I think I'm just going to do in maybe Knight of Navy I believe I got so inky so soon. Like so. So, oh, let me bring it up so you can see because it's quite a way. There we go. If you can see that. So it's just a slightly broken design. Textured is the word. Look at my fingers. Good week. Okay. So I think that will work. And then just to show you this little um, sort of shadow here, I'm going to do this in Night of Navy, but I might make it lighter when I come to do the actual design. So that works perfectly. And then we've got some birds. And you definitely need these birds flying the right way. Okay, so they need to be that way around. And then we've got this, which I'm going to use for the texture for the water. So I'm just going to do this in balmy blue on here. So, needs to go a bit higher, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so you get the effect of the um, reflection or the shadow. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to add a sentiment underneath on the bottom of the card. This one says, hope it's your best day ever. Like that. So that's my rough design. But what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do this on here. So I'm hoping this is going to fit. I'm going to put my words underneath, so that will be fine. So I'm going to keep that to the right so I can use that as my um, design to follow. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the water first because I know I've got plenty of space. If I use this to line up on here, I want obviously want a little bit of space at the top. So that gives me an idea where my water is going to go. And I'm going to stamp it and then stamp again so it gets lighter as I go along. Now I might change the colours of the sails, um, but let's start with this. So let's wipe this down. And this image here for the um, ground is quite a long image, so it's the width 
I reckon it's the width of a card plus some. So this is our standard card, so it goes right the way across. So it does make it good for um, backgrounds and things. Because it's a large stamp, I'm going to take the ink to the stamp, even though I'm only doing the middle bit. Morning, Cassie. Okay, so there's my Barbie blue. So I'm using this as my sort of line. And I should really have popped a mat behind this. Give it a bit of cushioning. I'm hoping that will come up with it. Sure will. There we go. Okay, so there's my first line. And what I'm going to do, just so I don't make that too inky is I'm going to stamp this again stamp it off first and then bring it down towards the bottom if that makes any sense it made sense to me so now I'm in the swing of things how is everybody it's another beautiful morning here so I really need to get my lawn mown once I've got all the class in a box packages sent so that has to come first so I'm just going to stamp that off like so so it becomes lighter as it comes down and just going to do that again and stamp it I might stamp it off twice now the position of my camera has changed and I've discovered a couple of times I've come in and my um, camera has not been in its um, holder and I discovered who the culprit is this morning and that's one of the cats it's Benjamin and uh, he was being particularly affectionate this morning jumping up wanting cuddles and he went straight to the to the camera and rubbed himself against it with his head so now i know who the culprit is so i've managed to put it back i do need to make sure it's secure though okay so there's our little bit see i love the texture in that morning brenda love the texture in that but obviously um i mean this you could use for all sorts of things as well i think it would make a great sky in a very light color okay so next i'm going to do the um sailboat I just wipe this down so i'm going to use this again for my background okay so this is what i have here so I had a Knight of Navy for my base. So I'm going to stick with that, I think. Which is this one here. Find my base. Or the hole, is it a hole? I'm sure somebody will tell me what it is. Okay. I'll set my glasses off so I can see where I'm stamping because obviously I want this actually on the water and or just slightly in the water okay lift that up so you can see it like so And we had these colours here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use blue and yellow um, in support of Ukraine, just so let them know we're still thinking of them in this terrible time that they're having.
try this to see which is the best yellow. one I don't think that's hardly got anything on it at all put that in my to be re-inked okay let's try that one again too dark for my liking. Sorry. Let me grab, I need to That's what I'm looking for. Van Gogh Melody. Sorry. It's because I've got my ink pads in my bag between coffee and card. Right, let's ink this one up again. That's better. Okay. Let's make sure it's nicely inked. Did I have it touching sort of just about? go that's that one and then I use balmy blue but I think what I'm going to do is use misty moonlight just so I've got a different blue can't believe I got so covered in ink so quickly okay so here's the other sail up so it has almost like a weathered look to it I think I should have taken my glasses off, really. There we go. That's our little yacht. And then I'm going to add the shadow, or the reflection, depending on what you want it to be, in that mist, same misty moonlight, so it's slightly lighter. So I've added that, you can see there, and I made sure that I stamped it right up, almost overlapping, whereas on this one I had a bit of a gap, and that, oh, excuse me, and that looks better. And then the final bit for this little piece of artwork is the birds. So I think they're going to be in early espresso. Um, which is here. So say so you want to make sure that your birds are the right way round. So that's my little piece of artwork. 
If I bring that up, hopefully you'll be able to see that a little bit better, like so. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, so this is going to be mounted onto here, which is just a piece of Misty Moonlight that I've cut, um, just basically to fit that piece of card. And then what I'm going to do is I want to continue the C sort of across here. Now I want to put my sentiment at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just lightly mark with a pencil, I think. And in fact, if I keep that level at the bottom, I can use that rather than mark my card potentially. So we're going to position it here, up to here. Like that, so I'm basically carrying that across. Okay, so let's find that long one there. Now, this was all done in balmy blue, I'm not sure how much that's going to show up tone on tone. So, let's just stamp it and see. So, I'm going to take the ink pad to the stamp. Sorry, this is a little bit off the bottom of your screen okay I think that would be alright actually I'm just going to do it like so like that and then I'm just looking for that bottom one there I'm just going to make the top one slightly darker. Let's turn this round. There we go. Thank you, Zana. So that sort of fits in behind there. Just got, I've got a little bit of a gap here as the stamp bends away. So I'm just going to fill that in. There we go. So that's going to go onto there. That's going to go onto my base card, and then hopefully. I've left space for that sentiment at the bottom. So that one I'm going to stamp in Night of Navy because I want it to stand out. The card base I'm using there is Barbie Blue. So demonstrators around the world are getting very excited because we will get to see the new annual catalogue. For us here in the UK it's this evening. And we've already seen the new in colours that are coming. So Misty Moonlight is one that's retiring. And there's some nice bright colours and three blues. So looking forward to sharing those with you. Okay, so I just want that fairly... Central, I'm going to keep this fairly to the bottom because I can move my panel slightly. There we go. Hope it's your best day ever. Hi, Tracy. And that's going to go in there like so. Okay, so let's just layer this one up first. I'll so say this was just, I just literally cut a piece of card down. There wasn't any, there really wasn't any method in my madness. So the stamp set is called Let's Set Sail.
go. Make sure I don't put my inky hands on my artwork. I hope you're well, Tracy. Hope the puppy is still settling in and behaving herself. Okay, that's going to go onto there. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. And this is going to go straight onto a white card. Like so. So I'm going to pop this layer on first. So a scribble of glue. going to center this on here so this piece is 10 centimeters by 14.35 the balmy blue okay move these pieces out of the way and attach our panel I'm going to use dimensions for that So we've got a lovely sunny day here. I hope it's nice and sunny where you are. Oh, excellent. Glad she's behaving. Well, she's got two other dogs to put her in line, hasn't she? <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to peel these off. can hear the birds singing in the in the garden it's lovely okay and then this is just going to be positioned So there we go. That's our finished card. And I think I'm going to just pop the birds on the inside up here. And I'll probably stamp the yacht on the envelope. Right, to make sure I get these birds the right way around. and then let's grab the envelope and just do that and then we're all done so thank you so much for joining us this morning so we will be back again tomorrow evening that is Thursday. I'm just going to pop this, the boat on the bottom here. Like that. I need to allow space on the left hand side. I was thinking, oh, I'll put, oh no, it can go off the edge actually. Ignore me. So we'll be back again. Oh, of course you can, Tracy, anytime. Um, yes, we'll be back again tomorrow evening at 7. So I'm just going to put the boat on the bottom here. And I know that the sail will go off to the left, but that's fine. I can cope with that. <laughs> a yacht. Or a schooner, I think other people call it.
so. And then the one on the right in my Mango Melody. So you could have um, great fun with these. Because of the size of them, you could do a card with lots of them on the sea in a yacht race. There we go. So there's my envelope to match. I'm just going to ground it a little bit though. So thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back again tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, depending on when you're watching this and whether you're watching live or on replay. That's better. It's grounded a bit. And this will be the set that we use for coffee and card on Friday in Brackley and next Monday in Toaster. So there we go. There's our finished card. I hope you like it. And I look forward to catching up with you really soon. And I hope you look after yourselves, your loved ones. Do take care. And I hope you can keep crafting. Just realised my overhead light wasn't on, but hopefully um, you'll have seen enough that you need to. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.